Hi, this will be a short video on React Native and getting started with React Native, okay? So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my web browser here and search for React Native. And there it is, React Native, a framework for building native apps using React. So what is React, right? React is a library produced by, and actually kind of a compiler build thing created by Facebook. Um, they use it to build Facebook apps, I guess, for iPhone and Android. Um, and you can essentially build an app from a single code base written in JavaScript. Now, that promises a lot. And those single code base solutions, which there are a few, um, they, they don't always deliver on every single topic. Then again, in some cases, it can save you a lot of time. So um, especially if you want to build cross-platform stuff, it kind of, you know, lends itself to, uh, you know, easier development, though it's not always perfect, right? Maybe it might save you time. Um, you might have to give up a feature here and there. Um, it may it may allow you to leverage your JavaScript skills in mobile development. Um, if you have Swift skills or, you know, Java skills that you already employ, you might feel a little disappointed building with JavaScript. Um, you know, I, I encourage everyone to give React Native a try because it is pretty cool. And um, they have actually a really great um, data flow method. So if you build apps um, with native languages like Java or Swift, you kind of have to build up your own data flow. And that can get pretty messy. React kind of organizes everything in a, in a really nice way. And I almost wish that this was just built into regular native code. Um, but anyway, I don't want to promise too much with this. It is pretty good, um, though it doesn't do everything, right? Because it is kind of a layer built on top of the native native stuff. That said, it does produce um, native apps. So the performance is actually very good for these apps. Um, they're truly native. They're not just a web app running in a web, you know, a, an HTML file JavaScript thing running in a web view. Okay. Um, they're truly native. So, so how do you get started, right? So here we are, we are, we're going to go to the get started button there and we're at the getting started section here and you can follow the whole tutorial through here. This first one though um, is all about installing the tools, right? So getting started here is all about the tools. You'll need to um, choose a, a development environment. So you're going to install for Mac OS, Linux or Windows. And then <clears throat> when you build, you want might want to install for iOS, and you may also want to install for Android. You can build iOS and Android apps on the Mac, but you can only build Android apps on Windows. Okay, you can't build iOS apps on Windows because um, you need to have X Xcode installed. Um, and you can't install that on Windows. So um, though you might be able to do it with some, you know, um, emulator, right, or something, I'm not sure, but, you know, generally you can't do it, okay? Um, so anyway, so you'll have to get Xcode. Um, you'll have to install Android Studio if you're going to build for Android. For these examples, I'm just going to build on the Mac, and I'm going to build for iOS. But the code that I write in React should run on Android also just fine. Okay, so the first step is to install these dependencies. So you'll need to install Node Watchman or Node and Watchman, and they use Homebrew in the example to install it. So you can go to, if you don't have Brew installed, you can go to Homebrew here, and you can follow the instructions to install Homebrew. Um, once you've done that, you can run Brew install Node and Brew install Watchman. If you have a problem here with Node, you can also install Node directly from Node.js. So if you go to Node.js, um, you can install it here. I had previously installed this, so I already had it, but uh, but you can follow the installation instructions there also. When you're done installing Node or Brew and Node and Watchman, then you're going to move on and you're going to want to install um, the command line interface for um, React Native. So you can just run npm install and follow this, this line right here. And in order to build the apps for iOS, you'll need to install Xcode, and you can get that at the Mac App Store. So if you have it already, no big deal. You can just keep going. If you don't have Xcode, then you'll need to go to the App Store here and install. Okay? And then when you're done, you can run the code here and build a sample project. I'll do this in the next video. So I'll leave this up to you to, um, to run the installer here and get everything installed. Okay? Thanks for watching.